Welcome to the overview of exhaust after treatment systems and the importance of regenerations. The regen process is utilized by the diesel engines that power John Deere's current Tier 4 compliant off-road fleet. We will outline the importance of allowing the regen process to execute completely as required by the parameters set in the engine controller. Additionally, we'll look at some commonly experienced problems with the regen process and how users can avoid these problems. The diesel particulate filter, or DPF, traps particulate matter and soot. Exhaust gas passes through channels in the ceramic filter core, moving through porous channel walls until it exits through an open outlet. While the exhaust gas circulates through the filter, particulates are trapped on the channel walls, which are coated with precious metals that aid in oxidation of the particulate matter. The oxidation of the particulate matter in the DPF is called regeneration. To keep the DPF operating in its peak efficiency, it requires periodic regenerations to be performed. Some of these regenerations happen during normal use and require no intervention. As the soot level in the DPF begins to become more severe, it requires more rigorous regeneration processes to be performed by the ECU. Regeneration is the process of increased exhaust temperatures to oxi oxidize the accumulated particulate matter or soot from the walls of the DPF. There are five types of regenerations that can occur. Passive regeneration occurs naturally in the DPF when the operating conditions produce sufficient exhaust gas temperatures for the oxidation of soot to occur. The engine ECU takes no action during passive regeneration. There is no fuel dosing or closing of air throttle to increase exhaust gas temperatures. No indicators are present on the operator interface during passive regeneration. Enhanced passive regeneration is when the soot level in the DPF reaches a predetermined level and the vehicle operating conditions are not resulting in sufficient exhaust gas temperatures to promote sufficient passive regeneration. The engine ECU activates the enhanced passive regeneration strategy. During enhanced passive regeneration, the engine ECU closes the air throttle and changes injection timing to increase the exhaust gas temperature to a level that promotes passive regeneration. The engine is allowed to be operated normally and no fuel dosing during the enhanced passive regeneration. No indicators are present on the operator interface during enhanced passive regeneration. Active regeneration. When the soot level in the DPF reaches a predetermined level or soot is accumulating at a rate higher than can be managed by the enhanced passive regeneration, an active regeneration will be initiated. During an active regeneration, the ECU initiates the in-cylinder fuel dosing strategy, modifies fuel injection timing, and closes the air throttle to increase exhaust gas temperatures from promote rapid oxidation and removal of the soot in the DPF. Exhaust gas temperatures during the active regeneration are higher than the temperatures in the enhanced passive regeneration. During this regeneration, the engine is allowed to be operated normally. Parked regeneration. When the soot level reaches a predetermined level, the ECU mandates a parked regeneration to be performed. When a parked regeneration is needed, the ECU derates the engine to encourage the parked regeneration to be performed. During a parked regeneration, the ECU increases the engine speeds to 2200 RPM, initiates the in-cylinder dosing fuel strategy, modifies fuel injection timing, and closes the air throttle to increase the exhaust gas temperature to promote rapid oxidation and removal of soot in the DPF. The vehicle must be remained parked until the parked regeneration has ended. Recovery regeneration. If the soot in the DPF reaches a severe level, a recovery regeneration is required to reduce the soot level. Running the vehicle with the regenerations inhibited or not performing a parked regeneration when needed can cause the recovery regeneration to be needed. During a recovery regeneration, the vehicle must be parked. The ECU closes the air throttle and changes injection timing to increase the exhaust gas temperature to a level that promotes passive regeneration. No fuel is dosed during this portion of the recovery. After sufficient time has passed and the soot level is at a low level, parked regeneration is performed before the recovery regeneration is complete. The vehicle must remain parked until the recovery regeneration has ended. There are various indicators, icons, and combinations of both that will help the operator determine if the machine is running correctly or requires user intervention. Displayed on the screen are some indicators from both John Deere's tech control commonly found on many pieces of golf maintenance equipment and from the instrument cluster of a John Deere compact utility tractor. Operators should familiarize themselves 
with various modes and indicators associated with the, with the regeneration process. The indicators range from informational to warnings to stop operation. If the machine calls for a DPF recovery as shown by the lower left icon and the machine is switched off after this icon appears, it will not reappear immediately if the engine is restarted. The machine is briefly capable of operating, albeit with reduced power. This action is intentional, the intention being to allow the dealer to perform service cleaning. Leading causes of failed regens. At times, while a machine is being used, an operator may periodically shut off the engine if, there are, if they are dismounting the equipment, speaking to someone, or any multitude of reasons. Anytime the engine is shut down, the current regeneration process, active regen or higher, is immediately canceled and counts as exhaust filter cleaning inhibited by operator interface. Occasionally, the operator may notice indicators displayed on the PDU and not know what they stand for. This can cause the operator to manually cancel the operation to make the unknown indicator disappear or shut down the engine in fear that something might be wrong with the equipment. Auto regeneration can be disabled should the need arise, but when the ignition is cycled off, auto regeneration is re-enabled. Mechanical problems can affect the engine's ability to perform any level of regeneration, such as failed after treatment sensors, broken wires, unplugged connectors, poor equipment maintenance, and fuel quality. Repeat cancellation or ignoring indicators to perform a parked regeneration causes more engine power limitations, which eventually lead to dealer required service. If soot level in exhaust filter is extreme, the tech control alert with DTC 3719.00 becomes active, engine power is reduced and the machine functionality is limited. In this case, contact our service department to service and clean the exhaust filter through a recovery regeneration. Tips for avoiding service cleaning. Do not disable auto regeneration unless necessary. Avoid unnecessary idling. Do not interrupt regeneration process unless necessary. If possible, do not shut off the engine while the increased exhaust temperature icon is shown on the tech control DPF status screen. Take note of information displayed for the operator and act accordingly. Keep equipment maintained and services up to date. There are a few ways to help prevent the need for DPF recovery. Operate the engine at proper speed and load. Soot builds up during time when engine exhaust gas temperature is lower, lower engine speeds, lower engine loads. Performing extended operations at lo either low engine speed or low engine load results in needing a part of regeneration. Keep engine running. Interrupting of any regen processes will lead to needing to perform the next level of regeneration. Display indicators. Teach operators what each of the regen symbols are and what to do when they appear. Equipment maintenance. Keeping equipment well-maintained and servicing up-to-date will help aid in successful regens. Fuel quality. Goes without saying that fuel quality plays a big part in proper operation of the fuel and after treatment systems. Talk to your supplier if their fuel is sufficient for your needs. That pretty much wraps up the high level overview of what the regeneration process is and how it affects the operation and interaction with the machine. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any one of our service departments or our technical hotline.